lose your word. You lose your honor. There is nothing that will impact your life more than that, ever, ever. I will not return to him and, and have him say, hang on just a second. I sent you down at a specific time, did I not? Yes, you did. And, 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 and this is an eternal plan, right? Yes. You weren't born for a happenstance. It just didn't happen that you popped out in America at this time, right? No, Lord. I know there is a plan to everything you do. Okay. So I set you in America. At its time of crisis, I gave you parents who taught you my words. They filled it. You even went to one of the best universities based on my word. And help me out again. You did what? Because I'm just looking here, and I, I know what it says, because I wrote it. So I know what it says, but help me out. What part of stay away from men like that? What part of, Lord, we had the Supreme Court. Quote, this because I played this out in my head. What am I going to say to him? You don't understand? You weren't there? We had no other choice? Yes, you do. Your only choice is to always be loyal to him. Don't try to outthink him. True faith in God. This is the gospel according to Glenn. True faith in God means you live it no matter the consequences. 